Hey Libras, how's it going? How are you guys doing? If this is your first time checking out Trila Divine's channel. What is up? I'm Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. Definitely a great message to say the least for you guys for April 1st, the 16th. Can't believe it's already April. Woo -woo. We made it. So Oracle card to start off your reading says in patience. My life is unfolding in divine timing. All delays are beneficial. I'm always at the right place at the right time. So how awesome is that to start off April? You know, whatever you guys got going on in your life, realize that it's all leading you to the right place, right? Everything, the good, the bad, you know, it's all meant to happen for a reason. So with that, I feel like, sorry, <laughs> I feel like Libra's message truthfully for April is that whatever nine of swords energy you guys have been in and when I'm talking about nine of swords energy I feel like this is talking about feeling unworthy talking about feeling alone unstable you're lacking confidence I feel like you're just you know kind of guarding yourself inside the home it's like you it's like you're going through some type of breakup or separation or something and it's like you don't want to be around anyone you don't want to do anything that's kind of the energy that I'm picking up right now with this sign of swords, you know, and I, I get that. I get, you know, just needing to be by yourself. I mean, that's very important to learn how to be by yourself, to love yourself, um, especially during a troubled time. But I feel like you don't need to stay there, Libras. I feel like, you know, if you have to stay there for a little bit, stay there, but don't stay there for, you know, too long because you're... I just feel like you do have a lot to offer and you do have something coming through for you guys. Might not be till the middle of April, but I do get a sense that there is some type of um, new, new, could be love, but there's just more out there. So don't just settle because this one thing didn't work out. That's what I'm hearing. A lot of you are going through this where you really need to make it an important decision right now, Libra. Because we have the Ten of Wands coming up. Ten of Wands is telling me to tell you. Well, Spirit's telling me to tell you. But you are in this place right now where you may feel like you're carrying the weight on your shoulders. You may feel like the burdens. Like, you know, this decision this decision's so hard. Like, how am I going to make it? You know, I don't know if this is going to be the right decision for me or if this is going to be the wrong decision. And I feel like you have to give yourself that extra boost this month. You have to give yourself the extra, you know, maybe some more positivity on yourself. Like I can do this, you know, I've got this, you know, you have to have confidence. Thank you, spirit. You have to have confidence, especially for the first two weeks of April, because I feel like maybe that's what you guys have been lacking lately is that, you know, self-confidence. Maybe this person that you guys were dealing with is, um, they just took a lot of your self-confidence. They took a lot of your self-worth. And that might be why you're feeling isolated or why you're feeling you like you hold. Yeah. Oh, my lordy. Why are you feeling like you have to hold back? Um, why you feel like you have to be protected? Because we have the five of wands up here as well. You know, this is you going in pro or protection mode. This is you going into fight mode. This is you, you know, just feeling like you have to have your defenses up. Um Realize that everyone's going to have a different opinion. Realize that you have a different opinion from everyone else. You know, so if you're in conflict with someone in the first two weeks of April, this is opinions. You know, people throw opinions, you throw opinions. You know, not everything is going to go your way, but spirit's kind of saying, you know, this is you needing to take a step back and realize that, you know, you are important as you are and you are, um, you're strong, right? Like you've been through the shit and, I just feel like you're searching for more. You want more. I feel like there's just, I don't know, like I feel like this sense of like a lot of pressure right now for you Libras. Like it's like this overbearing tension that I'm feeling like someone gets into your space and it's like, you know, your, your fists are up. You know, and I can, I can feel like the harsh, like pressure right here about, yeah, this person's going to really get you going. Like it's, you know, that, um, adrenaline, that's the word. Thank you, spirit. Um, adrenaline is, is it's going to be popping guys. And just be careful about that because, you know, not all fights are worth 
worth confrontation. Not all fights are worth you going all out in, you know? Sometimes it's just better to walk away knowing what you bring to the table. So Libras, six of swords. See, move, move away from anything. You know, if something is not in your corner, if something is not bringing you, you know, fulfillment, if something's not bringing you happiness, joy, if something is keeping you stuck, be, making you upset, keeping you in this nine of swords energy, you don't need it anymore. We're away from that. You know, you need to move on. You need to let go. You need to go seek more, seek better, you know, not looking back. You don't need to look back anymore. The waters are calm now. Whatever you have gotten out of, that's history, babe. You're ahead. So keep moving forward. You know, three pentacles. You may have this urge to compromise right now. You may have, you may have to. You may have to say, you know what? I may have to give up something that I really want for something better that's going to come through. That could be the message. Um, there's a love triangle too. But I feel like overall for Libras, for the first two weeks of April, you guys have to really look at your goals, really look at your dreams. Like, what is it that you guys want? You know, what is it that you guys are seeking for? What is it that you guys desire? What is it that you guys need? You know, what don't you want? Are, are you sick and tired of being in these energies, feeling like you're being used, feeling like you're carrying the weight on your shoulders, feeling like you have no one in your corner, feeling alone, feeling like, you know, you have to constantly protect yourself from something? No, no one wants to live like that. So Libras, it's time to kind of get out of your own asses. And, you know, if if someone's not giving you the things that you guys need, then it's like, bye. Like, I don't need you. That's the kind of attitude Libras need to have for April. Like, this is about you working on you. This is about you working on your goals and, you know, achieving those goals. Fast action movement, Knight of, Knight of Wands. Right? So this is fast energy coming through for you. This is a lot of change, you know. Remember that when spirit moves someone out of your life, they're always going to bring someone better in for you. And I feel like that's kind of where some of you are is maybe it's a breakup. Maybe someone left. Maybe someone broke up with you. And it's like you're in this like loss and heartbreak and, you know, oh, you know, I'm not worthy or I'm not lovable or I'm not going to find someone to love me for me or whatever the case is, like Spirit's saying, you know, you just need to work on you right now. This this new love is going to come through, but it's not going to come through till you have manifested all you need to do within here. <coughs> I also feel like, you know, whoever you guys are dealing with, with the Knight of Wands coming up as well, they are realizing what they let go. You know, maybe it's been a couple weeks, maybe it's been a couple months, maybe it's been a year. Maybe this person just decides to message you out of the blue again, Libra. And it kind of, after all of that repair you kind of did, for some of you, it's like, are you serious? Like, I just worked on myself for a whole year and now you're going to walk back into my life thinking that you have a spot? Like, hell no. And I feel like for the... The Libras that are newly single, if you're dealing with an energy of someone coming in and out, the message that I'm hearing is that for April, like, don't give people second chances. Not right now. Right now, your goal is to work on you. Because there, there's going to be a fast action, like, there's going to be a new love heading your way. But don't, I, yeah, see, I, I feel like it's don't give anyone second chances right now. You know, if they don't see your worth the first time around, that they don't deserve you. You know, you're gonna get to the you're gonna get to this point, Leah, where you're gonna be like, you know what? I don't need anyone who doesn't need me. And that's the attitude that I feel like you guys need to have for the first two weeks of April is like, you know, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna have a party, I'm gonna go hang out with my girlfriends or my boyfriends, whatever you guys do. I'm gonna go celebrate because I'm newly single and I can do whatever I want. You know, this is, you know, just yeah, it's changes, right? It's you realizing that you're not a dorm or doormat anymore. Whew. You being so comfortable in who you are that that's what you're going to attract. So you're going to have victory. We have the chariot card. You know, walk away from this person because what you have coming to you is going to be worth celebrating. 
You're not going to be in that lost nine of swords energy anymore. Feeling unworthy, feeling unloved. No, this person's going to give all to you. This is this is a period for you Libras to Libra, Libras to really grow. <clears throat> Completion, right? Spirit's like I've you're on the right track. You don't need to keep worrying about this other person. You may you need to let go, you know? If this person comes back into your life, don't give them a second chance. Like I said, I keep hearing if they if they didn't appreciate you at the time, then why, how, like, why do they appreciate you now? Why do they want you back now? Because they realized how strong you are. They realized how good looking you are. They realized, oh, they fucked up. Now they want a second chance. Like, hell no. No, April's all about new changes, all about new beginnings, new chapter, new taking care of you, setting some boundaries, you know, being, being in your own element, guys, like that I can't stress how important that is right now for Libras, you know, just keeps moving forward because what's ahead of you, you don't need what's behind you anymore. Will of fortune changes opportunities, you know, what do you want? Because everything that you guys are manifesting right now, everything that you guys have manifested has led you to this very moment right now. You don't need anything that doesn't need you. I've said it a couple times during this reading because that's what they keep saying to me, Libra. You do not need anyone who does not need you. You are stronger. You are wiser. You are beautiful. You are loved. And you just keep on that. Keep on that attitude. Keep trucking. Keep going for what you want. Um, if it's job related, I feel like what's coming um, is a promotion. Maybe for some of you, maybe a job change, maybe job career. Maybe you're undecided about whether you should. I feel like the answer to that is Yes. But follow your intuition, right? Your intuition never lies. So Libras, you're going to read your Oracle card. If I can find it. There we go. From the Secret Language Color Deck. And for you guys, you have green. So it says revitalize your nervous system. Um, green re or revitalizes your nervous system, heart circling system and liver, lowering blood pressure and releasing frustration and anger. Meditation and healing are enhanced by green, which also stimulates growth and is good for healing broken bones. Surround anyone who is unwell with green. Absorb green rays, sorry, absorb green rays to revitalize your nervous system and heart. Float, ah, can't speak to name. Focus on flooding your nervous system with green rays of light. Direct the light throughout your whole spine before moving it into your heart. Then rotate this green light around your heart until you feel your heart expand, relax, and fill up with vitality. Say divine, Itali or, oh lordy, um, divine intelligence, please release all the pressure and stress from my heart and nervous system and fill me up with your healing, revitalizing green light. You know, so there's there's something going on with someone's nervous system. I think that's why this card came up. And it's kind of interesting because I feel like the overall message that I'm getting is that whoever's been having um, blood pressure issues, something to do with your heart or your liver, meditation is definitely going to help you. But I also feel like it's whoever you're surrounding yourself with. Um, just, the, just the need to move away, you know, maybe even getting it looked at could be another yeah but your card of april is green so that's what you guys have so pretty interesting reading pretty great reading actually so i'm gonna leave it there let me know how it goes let me know how it resonates. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I will see you the second half of April Libra. Take care.